Hello, uh, today I'm at a local MTBO meet. MTBO stands for Mountain Bike Orienteering and it's a combination sport between mountain bike and orienteering. Uh, as you might know, in regular foot orienteering, you have a map and you are about, to, you, you need to navigate from point to point using the map and maybe compass. Uh, MTBO is, is uh, similar in the way that you use a map to navigate to certain checkpoints. However, in regular foot orienteering, you can navigate, you can run uh, uh, in fields, you can run on roads, you can run through the forest. In mountain bike orienteering, you are limited to using trails and roads that are uh, marked on the map. And the trails are marked based on the predicted speed that you can keep on that specific uh, piece of, of trail. You have 25% predicted speed, you have 50%, 75% and 100%. Uh, the map is also different in the way that uh, it, it has less detail because you don't really need to know if there is a hole in the ground uh, 200 yards into the forest, you only need to have uh, navigational uh, points marked on the map. So it has less detail than an ordinary foot orienteering map. Uh, let me go through the uh, equipment, the gear that you need to uh, ride mountain bike orienteering. Well, first of all, of course, you need a bike, a mountain bike. Uh, I use my hardtail uh, entry-level Scott scale, uh, works just fine for me. And uh, I have seen at this meet uh, a combination of, of uh, I'd say, a 50-50 split between hardtails and full suspension mountain bikes. And um, uh, you need a map holder like this one here. It uh, pivots 360 degrees, so you can also always keep north uh, uh, to the north, so to speak. And you can use a compass if you need. I sometimes use one, I sometimes don't. And also you need a stick like this one to mark uh, that you have actually been to the checkpoints. And uh, what else do you need? You need a helmet, of course. I'm just about ready to, uh, to start my, my uh, uh, ride. Uh, I will go down there uh, to the start point and I will get my map and then I'm off. Uh, I, I'd say roughly 45 to 60 minutes and uh, I'll uh, bring you along and let's talk after the ride. Let's go.
Okay, so I, I made it back safely. Uh, you saw the crash. I'm, I'm all good. So that's nice. Uh, it was a bit scary though. I'm not used to, I'm not used to mountain biking on, on, on these technical trails. So I don't have really the guts to go full force into, into, um, into the technical sections like that. So I hesitated and and i fell that was scary but i'm fine so other than that it was a, a really nice meet a very a small local uh, competition um, not that many people here but you know it's a growing sport and i think it will it will catch on and and in some parts of sweden it's really big and in some some uh, other parts of europe it's it's even bigger than that so uh, it's a growing sport. It's it's very nice. Uh, it's it's good for your body, and you get to be outside and have fun, and and use your brain and your your body, and that's a good combination. So I wish that you could all just uh, s see if you can find a local event and and just go try it out. Uh, I'll leave some links to some useful sites in the description, and. Uh, Let's see you out on, on the next MTBO meet somewhere in the world. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.